Hey guys, Miss Peanut 38 here. I am have doing request videos today, and this is a dream a dramatic green look for St. Patty's Day. Let me zoom in real quick. Looks like that. Oops. <laughs> and this look was requested by two lovely ladies on my Facebook page. It's Bianca and Amanda. So there's your little shout out and thank you so much for your request. And if you guys want to see how I got this and how you can get this, just keep watching. Okay, so to keep the video from being incredibly long, I already did my primer. I'm going to zoom in a little. I have a piece of scotch tape on my eye just creating a line. That way I have this dramatic line like over here. So go ahead and grab your scotch tape and do that. And we'll back up a little bit and get started. I'm using three different shades of green, a silver and a white. All of these are Cherry Street cosmetic colors. Um, so the first green we're going to be using is this one, and it's called Helium. So we're just going to take a little bit of this on a brush, and this is going to go on our eyelid right in the center. I didn't do any of the rest of my makeup because of fallout. It's easier to do the eyes first and then to um, just grab a wipe and wipe it off and then finish your look. That way you're not just don't have crazy stuff all over. The only thing I have on is a little bit of something on my lips that I got from Birchbox yesterday from Tarte to a uh, matte lip color. Love it. Okay, now that we got that color on, we're going to go for our next shade of green. And this is like a lime green. Um, looks like this. Big difference. This one is called Juicy. So just remember, you want a couple different shades of green and then a darker green. So we're going to grab some of that. This is going to go on both corners. And just kind of patting it on there um, and to blend it in since it's a nice loose pigment I just have the little on the brush put it against there and just kind of wiggle the brush a little bit now for the inside corner like that and we're done with that one and then next up you're gonna go for your darkest green that you've chose me I chose this seriously dark one um this is called cayenne and it looks like this so that is going all up in there <laughs> I use a couple of different brushes I'm using an eyeliner brush first to kind of like draw the line that I want and then we'll fill it in so I'm just grabbing some of that and then trying to make sure we get it kind of even. We'll start out here so that looks close. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take it all the way into the inside corner. make our line and then get it filled in. Okay, now that we pretty much got my line going just going to be grabbing another brush, grab some of that product,
Oh yeah, and some of you commented the other day about a ringer that was in my background. If you happen to hear anything, it is either a voicemail notification on my iPad <laughs> or text message or phone call on my cell phone. Because it never fails. I almost always forget to put it on vibrate. You know how that goes. Okay. I'm taking that all the way down in the corner. Cherry Street has a lot of new colors out. Um, you guys should really check it out. And like I said, they're totally affordable. You can get them this size for 50 cents. So, super cool. All right, we're done with the green. Except for when we do the liner on the uh, other side in a minute. Uh, Okie dokie. All right, next up I'm taking the silver that I picked. And today I'm using Silver Bells from Cherry Street. This is my own packaging, not theirs. It looks like that. So pretty. I love that color. Okay, just grabbing another brush. I'm gonna pick that up. You know, and it's no big deal if we make a mess. Or it's it's a loose pigment. We're gonna make a mess. So as you can see, I take it all the way across. And then that little line that we have left is going to be filled up with a white. So all you need, three greens, a silver, and a white. And if you guys try this, please let me know. Leave a video response or I am me or something because I would really love to see it. Okay, now that we got our gray, just take, <clears throat> with nothing left on the brush, just kind of blend it just a little. I mean, cause I like the separation of color because it's a dramatic look. So I'll just put them on there and just kind of wiggle it just a little. Alrighty. And next up is going to be our white. Doo -doo. If I could figure out what I did with it. <laughs> Here we go. Here it is. This one is Moon. It's just a nice white shimmer. And I'm just using a flat eyeliner brush. Looks like that. And putting some on the end of it. And going with my hair right up into the eyebrow line. Right underneath the eyebrow. Put some on the very tip of it like that, and then take it down. And grab a clean brush of any kind and just kind of sweep right across that. Don't blend it, just sweep across it. And that way anything loose will go ahead and go just like that. Might want to blend out just a little right there. A little much on the brush, I think. There we go. Okay. Alright, and then finally you're going to take a, a 
liner brush or a very small brush, whatever you're working with, I'm going to put a little grain across the bottom. Choose whichever grain you like from the top to go across the bottom. I mean, I'm not putting that much, just adding a little color because I am chose not to wear eyeliner with this look because it's kind of a dramatic look anyway, so it's dramatic all by itself. It doesn't need no liner. So I'm just taking a small Sigma angle brush like this, putting some on the very edges of it, and just tapping it on the lower lash line. And like I said, it's going to get in the lashes, it's going to get on your face, but... That's why I let everything else wait till last. Because when we get done, you can just take a wipe and it's gone. Okay, back up just a little bit. Take the tape off. And I don't know if I removed a sticky or not, so it might peel a layer of flesh. <laughs> Ouch. See that line? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this. And I'm just going to grab a wipe and clean up from our fallout. Wipes right off. Add some mascara and we are done. Today I used my Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I normally do my lower lashes first. I don't know why I went for the top first. It's not like me. Anyway, I'll try not to get mascara all over my eyelid. And that is it. That is a massively dramatic look for your St. Patty's Day party. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, had a lot of fun creating this. I'm really glad you chose to watch it. So give me a thumbs up for at least being creative. <laughs> and um, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the box and email me. Or um, you can catch me on Twitter at Peanuts39 and my Facebook. All my links will be below. And don't forget to check out my blog. i got two contests going with another one coming up soon. And again, thanks so much for watching, and you guys have a great day. Bye.